Hi, I'm Fiona Wood, I'm a burn surgeon, and I'm at RIOS this week to talk about how we can engage in science and technology into the future to improve the quality of outcomes from burn injuries in particular, but all sorts of things, all sorts of injuries and all sorts of problems really, all sorts of medical problems. This week I've been talking about trying to imagine uh, treating people in three phases, like kind of three phases of a car wash, for example. The first phase is assessment. Without assessment of understanding what the problem is, we don't get any further. An assessment needs to be multi-scale, multi-modality, so we have a true understanding of the injury itself and it's the impact of that injury on the whole person. The second uh, aspect is debridement. Debridement is removing all the problem tissue. The problem tissue that goes on to cause infection, that goes on to cause inflammation, that will reduce the capacity for that person to heal. So the treatment around debridement is all about removing the, the dead, dead tissue. How we do that into the future? How do we do it with more accuracy, with less damage and less trauma itself? The third part is how do we rebuild? How do we facilitate the regeneration as opposed to scar repair? How can we put together the cells that we know we need for the area, the architectural framework of that area, and drive self-organization to the original shape? Driving to the shape and the functionality of what that person was before this injury. The question that excites me the most right here, right now, is trying to understand the neurological responses to burn injury. If I could understand how the neurological responses could be harnessed to change the outcome and understand how that's linked to potential malignancy, then I would be very, very happy if I could actually contribute to anything at all to that whole uh, spectrum of knowledge. All the science and technology is fantastic and really interesting and exciting. But every intervention from the point of injury will influence the scar worn for life. And every one of us can make a difference. Burns first aid makes a difference based on good science. So cooling the burn between 15 to 18 degrees, cool running water for 20 minutes in the first hour will reduce a scald injury by 80%. That is, has a huge impact on the individual and on the health system. So my take home message is learn first aid. It makes a difference to burns, but it can make a difference to a whole lot of other things.